Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. When I make the beginning of every audio cast, I'm trying to remind people of their own lives. I'm not doing it to sound arrogant. I'm not trying to sell them some sort of financial planning. I'm just saying, look, this is life. Life goes quickly and life can be hard. And if you haven't figured out how to play lovingly and kindly and peacefully in the world, then you're probably missing out on a lot of life. In my life, I've been waiting a long time, a really long time for my next wife. I lost my first one after many, many years. I lost my son too, and I miss them a lot. But when a man makes a shift in his heart that he is now ready to play again and have one stay again and be involved in someone intimately like that, he chooses based on a lot of criteria. In the marketing world, we use a criteria of a 20 to 25 pieces of content, of demographic information to target and decide who our clients are going to be. And that's something I can gift to you from me. But the truth is, when I'm looking at what kind of a girl I want to be in my world for the rest of my life until I'm, well, late 70s, early 80s and expect to go to God because of that's what I've been told to me that despite my challenges, I will live that long. The truth is, that means I have to produce myself a living. In order to produce for myself a living, I have to have someone who cares about not only me and what I care about, but also has similar spirituality to me. And similar spirituality to me is someone who knows how to do things that I do. Someone who is in similar in spirituality to me is someone who might have taught me what I can do. Someone who is similar in spirituality might have learned from me what I can do. But the truth is, in life, that's not the only part of someone being a wife. A wife learns to submit to the Lord first. A husband learns to submit to the Lord too. A husband is usually considered the leader of a family only presumptively because generally speaking in today's society at least in america men are paid a little more than women are today that is not always the case i know plenty of women who have made a huge splash in their professional world and make a very good living and i can't say that they make more money than a male does because some companies really work at being equal in every way But what I'm talking about today is how we choose a partner in life. And when God presents to you who it's going to be, it's usually based off of a prayer that you've given to the Lord and the Holy Tree. You see, the Holy Tree is something that they talk about in Kabbalah. The Holy Tree and the Tree of Life is something they talk about in marvelous movies. But the Tree of Life is something that gives all people life. And it's a different metaphor for different people. But if you haven't decided what you're looking for in life, if you haven't decided what kind of a spouse you want in your life, that you want them to be loving, kind, patient, and all the things that it talks about in the Bible or the Quran or any other work from any other land that talks about how to have a good life, then that's on your life. If you haven't given God that secret, if you haven't asked God to bring that one to you, then you may never meet that loving spouse or wife. But in time, that comes to be because God hears all prayers. And what God knows is when people screw up his plans, he has to work extra hard, even overtime, to fix it all. To realign people who are meant to be together. Because maybe they've always been together in different lifetimes. Or maybe God had a plan that was marvelous. But other people tend to ruin God's plans. And that is 100% truth. What we know about Satan is that Satan can only survive if people allow him to thrive. In life, we have to learn how to be is true. We have to learn how to pray is not new. And if you haven't learned how to pray every day, if you haven't learned how to curse at God, like I like to joke and say, then maybe you're just not caring what God thinks of you. But that's on you. Because one of the most fundamental aspects of all the human rights concepts that we play as American nation around the world is that people have the right to their own faith. And we're not going to convert them out of their religious heritage, their spiritual abilities, or what God gives to them, not you.